Lots of ROMs are quickly making their way to the new HTC One M8, and today we're going to be taking a look at probably one of my favorite ones, the Liquid Smooth ROM. Let's get started. <laughs> The main reason I have fallen in love with Liquid Smooth and why a lot of people use it as their daily driver is because somehow it's able to make everybody happy. Not only does it offer the latest version of stock Android, but it also offers a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of awesome features, while also giving you really good stability and really, really fast speeds. Now, as I said, it's finally here for the HTC One M8. For now, it supports all the GSM variants, and let's start looking at some of the features. So starting off with interface, if we pop in there, we're going to get some settings that we're not going to be using that often. We get options to customize our density if you want to switch to like a tablet mode. We also can customize our recent panel if you want to see RAM or you just really don't like the stock AOSP recent area. After that, we can move on to lock screen, and under here is more basic stuff. You can go into interface, and there we can go and customize our sliders. We can also add custom wallpapers. Then we also can go into style, and here you can go and change up some of the colors if you're into that. I just like to keep things simple and keep it white. Then we also do get some advanced options like customizing the battery, or we can also customize different stuff like quick unlock and another new feature that they added notification peak when you lift your device off of the table you can see your notifications under navigation we get some options to customize our navigation bar like you'd expect nothing really new there under performance we can go into an app called kernel tweaker that they give you but i wouldn't suggest playing with this unless you really know what you're doing it is a cool app and you could definitely maximize the power on your device. Moving on to status bar, we get one of our favorite options and that's customizing our battery icon. Of course, they offer a lot of a lot of different options and of course we can go and change the different colors. We can also go and look at some other options like customizing the clock and one of my favorite options, the double tap to sleep, which always comes in handy. So once we move on from that, as you can see, we get some other small options that we're not going to really look in depth and then we move on to active display and under active display this is an option where you basically pull out your phone from your pocket and it will give you a quick glance view of any notifications the time the weather the date so let me quickly demo f this for you guys and it's actually a feature taken from the Moto X so I just basically take my phone out of my pocket and as you can see, it'll give me some options like to unlock the screen, check the date and time, and if I had any notifications, I would be able to access them. Moving on to another really great and useful feature, we next have Halo. And this was actually a feature taken from Paranoid Android. And basically what it allows you to do is check your notifications from these little bubbles. So as you can see, we can scroll down or up to the notification area and access it there. To open up the notification, we just swipe and it'll pop up. So moving on to the next useful feature, we now got Pi Control. And this is basically an alternative to your navigation bar and it allows you to get quick access to different tasks and basically the usual buttons that you would use. So that is another great alternative if you don't want to use your navigation bar. Last but not least, another great feature with the Liquid Smooth ROM is the Theme Chooser. Now this is the updated Theme Chooser with CyanogenMod, and basically you can install any theme from the Play Store, and then you can go and separately use some of those features, like if you want to just set the icons, you could set that. If you want to set the whole theme, you have that option. If you want to set different fonts or boot animations or sound packs, all of those options are there. And they are all very, very useful and fun to use. The one downside that I ended up getting with this ROM was not a stability issue, but instead that we cannot use the second camera. And that's because this is an AOSP ROM and the software from HTC Sense is actually not here like it was on the stock Google ROM. So 
that is kind of a downside. I don't use the second camera that much, so it wasn't that big of a deal for me. It might be a deal breaker for you, but that was the only problem I really found with this ROM, and hopefully they will be adding software in the near future to get that second camera working. The name Liquid Smooth was not coincidental as this is by far the fastest and smoothest ROM that I have used on my HTC One M8. It makes it feel like a lot more powerful device. Everything with this ROM opens up smoothly, very quickly, there's no lag and I haven't had any stability issues with this ROM. I'm just a little upset that some of the HTC software features are missing. But that's what happens when you go to AOSP ROM. Guys, this is the ROM that I recommend if you are looking for stock Android. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and also do make sure to subscribe down below. Guys, thanks for watching.